Mr. Kugler, and we're back around the fire pit with our 12 inch regular Dutch oven. And today we're gonna make a nice hearty dinner. It's gonna start off with some potatoes and I'm using the thin skinned potatoes and I'm using smaller ones. These range anywhere from maybe three quarters of an inch to an inch and a quarter, inch and a half in diameter. The great thing about these, this is about a pound and a half, is I rinsed them off, put them in this bag, labeled them what they were for. I don't have to peel them. I don't have to cut them up and they can go straight in the pot. It's gonna be followed by some nice baby carrots. I know they're really not baby carrots. They're just smaller processed carrots, but they're perfect for a dish like this. This is a pound. We're gonna put that in with our pound and a half potatoes and we'll be able to dump them right in. I've got two white onions, sweet onions, and a couple cloves of garlic that's in this bag, all labeled. So if I was on a camping trip and this was in my cooler, I would know exactly what this is for. So I have the two sweet onions cut in quarters and they're ready to go in there. And I have the uh, garlic all diced up, ready to go. When I get them in, I'm gonna add some cracked black pepper on it. And I'm gonna add some seasoning salt on it as well. And I'm gonna coat my vegetables with that. Just to give away a little, little ahead of the time uh, before we get ready to do this, I've got uh, two ears of corn cut in half, broken in half. And about halfway through the baking process, I'm gonna add these to the dish uh, because they're not gonna take as long to cook. Now today we're gonna use some brats and each one of these packages is just over a pound. There's five brats in here and we're gonna see how they fit, maybe a little tight. You could use chicken thighs, you can use chicken legs, uh, you could even use some chicken breasts on here. The nice thing about this dish is that it will not require any carving or cutting or anything when you get ready to serve this to your patrol or your troop mates. Uh, you'll just be able to use some tongs or a spoon and serve it out with any worry about doing any of that. Today we're gonna be cooking our meal using coals from a wood fire here. And I've got some nice hardwood in there. I used uh, early on some smaller chunks to get some coals early on. And we're gonna put a bed of coals underneath this in a minute and then put some on the lid. And depending on the wind and, and how attentive I am to the uh, maintaining the coals, we're probably about 50 minutes to an hour uh, with this type of dish and we'll check things out as we go along. So one of the other tricks I'm gonna show you in a second here, I'm gonna get some paper towel ready to go because you probably noticed that ash spinning around and some of it went into uh, the Dutch oven. So I'm gonna clean that out before we get going here. But one of the great things to have handy when you're out camping is some of these food surface gloves, latex gloves that are made for food service. So I'm gonna put some of these on. They're gonna be especially important when I start handling the raw meat. And let's face it, when we're out camping, uh, trying to keep our hands clean, both so when we handle the food and then afterwards, it can be challenging at times. So having these gloves is a big help in doing that. So I'm gonna take my paper towels. I'm not gonna to have to oil this. My Dutch oven here is nicely oiled. It's well seasoned. And I really don't need to worry about anything sticking to this. You're gonna to notice too that I'm not adding any fluids. I'm not adding any chicken broth. I'm sure you could. It'll help with the steam or some water. Uh, because quite honestly, there's enough water just in the bottom of this bag from where I rinsed out the potatoes ahead of time. And that's another good thing to remind me to bring out is I did this ahead of time. I'm not doing it while I'm in the campsite, having to worry about rinsing the potatoes or washing them or whatever and, and making a mess and I'm ready to go. I'm gonna put my carrots in here and I'm gonna move them around with my gloves and I'll put those down. The other nice thing is I'm gonna to try to make this look pretty. So I'm gonna put my onions and I'm gonna space these out. I may end up moving them a little bit because I'm gonna get going with the brats in a second. So 
Some of the things that you want to have ready here, I've got some of my Dutch oven gloves ready to go if I need them. If this gets too hot, I've got a lid lifter. I also have a shovel, so when it comes time to put the coals on, I'm ready with that. I sprinkle my garlic in there. Oh, that's going to be delicious. And uh, I'm going to take and put my cracked pepper on it. And you're going to season to taste. You're going to know what you and your friends like uh, for taste. So I'm going to do some of that. I'm going to put some seasoning salt on it just over my veg. I'm not going to do this on the bratwurst. They're nicely seasoned. Now, if I was doing chicken on top of this, then I would season them the same way. I could use ground rosemary. I could also use some of this Italian herb seasoning. Uh, again, uh, season to taste the way you like it, the way your friends like it. Chicken may be a, a great choice if you have people in your group that can't eat pork. Now these brats have pork in them. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is, a lot of what we do when we eat is, you know, it's by sight. So I'm gonna try to make this pretty. Put my brats in here. Be a lot of meat in here. And I'm figuring if you had an average patrol, five scouts, um, each scout could get two brats out of this meal. And as I mentioned, it was going to get a little snug here. I knew it was. So we'll get a couple extra brats in there. Side by side. Oh, that looks delicious. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I got my brats, everything going here. I don't need to do any more seasoning. I'm going to add the lid to this. It, this is cool. I know it's cool because I checked it. I had it on my lid stand. I haven't put any heat on this, got it sealed nice. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to add some coals to the top and to the bottom. Put this put the coals down here, put the Dutch oven uh, before I put the coals on the top. And uh, we'll see how long this thing takes to cook and how delicious, delicious it looks uh, when we get done. Give our lid a little spin, and our Dutch oven to spin the other way. I've been spinning every 10 or 15 minutes, giving this a swirl. Spin one direction, the other, checking my heat. In a little bit, I'm gonna add a little more heat to the top and bottom, but this is cooking really, really well and uh, cooking fast, and I wanna be careful not to burn those brats too much. So. We're about 20, 25 minutes in, and we'll keep an eye on this, and we'll uh, check in in a little bit. So, Scouts, we're at about 45 minutes or so, and I checked on this, and it's looking amazing. One of the things with brats being up at the top is that any juices that come out of them are going down into those veggies. 
I've been sitting here watching this thing cook, and you could probably see some of the steam coming off the side here. That's that moisture coming out. That starts to give you a hint that your food is cooking. If you could start to smell it and it smells delicious, you know you're good. If it starts smelling burnt, it's probably burnt. Um, one of the things that I did uh, just a short while ago is I used this mason's brush and I brushed off the ash and I put some extra, extra heat on the top because I had a lot of ash that wasn't coals anymore. It was you know, down to ash and it was insulating the, the pot from the heat that was still going on there. So I replaced my coals uh, that I've been adding wood to that fire to make sure I had a, a, a nice bed of that. I used this mason's brush. One of the things you may have noticed is my shovel here has some holes in it. And that's helpful uh, when I shake out the ash to get uh, coals just left on that shovel and not ash. So that's a great tip. And uh, so let's check this out. I've got a thermometer. This is something that you always want to have uh, when you're cooking raw meat to be able to know that your, your food is done. I'm gonna put my Dutch oven gloves on here. Bratwurst, so, the, so they say, should be up to about 160 degrees internal temperature of the bratwurst uh, to know that it's thoroughly cooked. So I've got my, oh, that looks gorgeous. I'm gonna move this over here. Take my gloves off for a second and I'm going to go in. I'm going to go to a brat that's maybe down in the mix a little bit and not one that is right up towards the top where it's getting a lot of heat. And I'm already well past 160 degrees. The other thing I want to be able to do is go down into one of those potatoes and make sure it's fork tender. Uh, and it is. I'm going to go in here again. I could have gone in taken these brats and flipped them over halfway through um, if I wanted to try to brown them evenly, but I'm, I'm not worried about that. So these brats are fully cooked. It's got a nice sound. Remember I put that corn in about halfway through, uh, so that'll steam up. And we've got a delicious dinner ready to serve. Hopefully you'll think about some of these meals that you can cook over the wood coals Quick and easy, great meal on a campery where you don't have a lot of time for either prep, cooking, or cleanup. This is going to be a breeze to clean up with the moisture that's in that pot. So think about other things that you could do with your patrol, with your troop. Cook it around a campfire in a 12-inch Dutch oven and get out there and enjoy and, and expand on your skills. For now, it's Mr. Kugler wishing you great adventures around the campfire.